Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. There was a magnitude 2.8 earthquake there in the New Madrid seismic zone at 3.43 p.m. near Dell, Arkansas. This earthquake, yeah, I, I got a bunch of real interesting stuff for you about um, Big Lake. And I got another lake. Let me see if I can find it. It's real close. Let's see. Right here. How could I miss it? Uh, St. Francis Lake. Both of these lakes were formed during the 1811 and 1812 earthquakes. Yeah, they were formed by a combination of subsidence and downstream uplift along the south flowing Little River. There was a lot of lakes that were formed during um, the 1811 and 1812 earthquakes. This here, let me zoom in, is the St. Francis River. Vast tracts of land sunk up to 50 feet during the earthquake and then it formed St. Francis Lake and we also got Big Lake. I'm gonna see if I can find Craighead, Mississippi. Uh, that's way over here but it's still in the uh, New Madrid seismic zone. There we go, right there. Okay, this is Big Lake. That's where the 2.8 earthquake occurred. And this is Craighead County. The reason I'm bringing this up, here we got the St. Francis uh, River, which area is sunk up to 50 feet along the banks. And a lot of this area became swamp land which has an interesting history. After each shaker that continued through March of 1812, yeah, the land continued to sink. Um, those surveying the damage in canoes recorded their shock at seeing forests of tall trees submerged in murky water. Only the tallest branches were visible. Lakes replaced hills and huge fissures filled with stagnant ponds. For miles, the quake caused the land to sink beneath the level of the surrounding countryside. The once bountiful northeast Arkansas filled with um, all these forests, abundant game and fertile ground become, became swamp. The remoteness of the area and the scarcity of people living in this location made accurate damage reports impossible for years. Survivors of the earthquake took stock of what remained and often abandoned what was left of their homes. Um, then the U.S. government was trying to entice soldiers to serve during the War of 1812 by promising land grants west of the Mississippi, including northeastern Arkansas. Yeah, maybe this is where the term um, buying swamp land came from. After the War of 1812, veterans and other homesteaders headed west to Arkansas, only to find that their land grants was underwater, uninhabitable, um, habitable only by snakes and uh, mosquitoes that were rampant. Many of them decided to go to Crowley Ridge. Let me see if I, there it is up there. Yeah, that was still on high ground. Yeah, it wasn't part of the swamp land. Yeah, yeah, trust your government, right? Yeah, join the war, we'll give you free land. But they didn't survey it. All they had was the old survey maps. And after the earthquake, yeah, it all became swampland. Drawn out in blue here, that is the Cottonwood Grove Fault. And this is uh, the fault zone that the majority of the uh, earthquakes occurred upon um, during the 1811 and 1812 earthquakes. Here's the location, not far from the 2.8, where there was a magnitude 8.6. That was December 16th, 1811. A little bit farther north, we got a 7.0. That was December 16th, 1811. And then we got um, another one for December 16th, 1811, an 8.0. And then up over here, 1812 that was a magnitude 8.4 
Yeah, this whole area just sunk, forming lakes. There's another one. I haven't been able to find it. It was originally named Earthquake Lake. And when you do a search, you end up with uh, the one there up at Yellowstone. Yeah, after making that long journey across from the East Coast, um, yeah, to this location, thinking you're going to start a homestead and find out you got nothing but lake or swampland. Very disappointing. I don't know what they ended up doing. As I said before, earthquakes are increasing. Let's see, we got a 3.8. Um, that was last year, December 27th, close to this same location. So, did you feel this earthquake? If so, put your information down below. Thank you very much for watching. Always be prepared for a disaster. History has a way of repeating itself. Yeah, so if there's another large earthquake there along the New Madrid, it probably would sink even more. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.